guys welcome back today we are going to be testing out a different technique for the twisted boutique bow yes there's probably like a hundred and one different ways you can make the twisted boutique bow this one looked so so simple I thought I would give it a whirl today and it actually comes from lookatmebaby.com they are actually the creators of that gator bite device that you can put in the middle of your hair bows and it helps you crease your bows a little bit better anyways go check it out um, but like I said, it looks super simple, so I thought we would give it a, a test today. And I'm going to be working with a one and a half inch ribbon to begin with, and then we will um, test it out on some seven eighth inch ribbon. All right, so I'm working with 30 inches of one and a half inch ribbon. And what I did was I just folded it in half and clipped off right there in the middle where now I have two pieces. Of ribbon both measuring the same length then you're going to want to take your lighter and heat seal all four ends of the ribbon and then we are going to take our glue gun and we are going to apply a thin line of hot glue right here at the edge of the ribbon because we're going to be piecing the ribbon ends together and it would be a good idea if you used your um, your fine tip glue gun, but of course mine gave out on me, decided to blow up, so I'm using what I have. Anyways, so you're going to just put the two ends together right there at the very tip top with the glue, and then you have a circle like so. We're going to do that to the other piece, just a thin layer of hot glue right there top. I'm going to take the other piece, the other end, excuse me, and I'm just going to barely overlap the two ends. So now we have two circles of ribbon. All right. Ugh, hot glue. All right, so now we're going to find those, uh, the edges that we just glued together, both of them. I'm going to put a thin layer of more hot glue on one and we're going to find the edges of the other piece and we're going to glue those edges together make sure your ribbons line up now they are together and if you put them together see one goes in the other just like so all right so now what we are going to do is we're going to find those edges oh let me put just a little bit more here. That one I don't want to stick. Okay, so we're just going to find our little edges that we glued and we're going to put that on our surface. That's going to be like the bottom right there. See? All right, and then you can just pry your loops apart. You'll have a loop on the left and a loop on the right. I'm going to be working with this loop that is on the left first. Now, see? I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to flatten it down where it meets the other, the other side. And then I'm going to take the top layer and I'm going to twist it. You're just going to twist your wrist. And I'm going to twist up at a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to give it a twist like that. Alright, and then once you have it twisted, see, there's your loops. Alright. Then, this ribbon that is just hanging out on the opposite side, we're going to take it and we're going to go like over these loops right here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me turn. Alright, so we're going to take it over and we're going to press down in the middle. And then we're going to twist it the opposite direction. So I'm going to twist down. And then once you have all your twisting done, you have these loops. See, it's a twisted boutique bow. See, four loops. All right, we'll do that again. Let me put them together. I'm not sure if this angle you guys are able to see me twist it. All right, so here is the edges that we pieced together. They're gonna go right there on the bottom. I'm going to take 
my loops and unfold them. I'm gonna work with the left side first. I'm gonna press down like this and I'm gonna twist up. Let me turn this way. See, I'm just going to twist up just like that. And there's my loops. Now this pesky ribbon that's hanging over here to the other side is gonna go up like over it, but not really over it. I'm gonna stop right there in the middle and then I'm just going to twist in the opposite direction, which is down, until you have your loops. And they're just hanging out right now. You can always play with it and twist it a little bit more before you crease it, but now you're just going to crease the center and we're gonna tie it off. Okay, and here's what it looks like once you have secured it and tied it off in the middle, which I've done here. And I also went ahead and sprayed some of my Stiff and Quick on it so it's got a nice hold and a nice shape. All right, so let's try the same technique with a 7 8 inch ribbon and we will put them on clips and I guess we can wear them after that. <laughs> Okay, for this one, we're going to be using 7 8 inch ribbon, and I'm going to be using 28 inches. I'm going to fold it in half like we just did the first. I'm going to clip it right there in the center where we have two pieces. And then I'm going to take my lighter, and I'm just going to gently glide over the ends. So we don't have to worry about anything unraveling. All right, so now we have two pieces, one, two. All right, so we are going to take our hot glue and we're gonna glue the little edges, the ends together of each piece. Remember right at the very end, you're gonna piece them together. So we've got one, and we're going to do the other right here at the other side will be the other and then we will have two circles all right so you can put them one inside the other now you're going to just find where we glued the two ends together hot glue on one piece and we're going to find the ends of the other and we're just going to overlap the two. You want to make sure your ribbons are lined up though and then you know once you put them inside each other they'll look like this. Alright so find the ends again right there and we're going to put those down just like that. Then we're going to undo the loops where you have one on the right and one on the left. And I'm going to be working with this left side first again. See there's the middle. We're going to take this, press it down, and then we're going to give our wrist a twist. And I'm going to go up. So you'll go up at a 90 degree angle. And you'll have like a figure eight. Then we're gonna take this, the one that is on the right side, or actually my right, and it's gonna go right here in the center, press down, and then we're gonna twist it in the opposite direction, which would be down. So you're gonna just twist it. Then you can pick it up here and give it a look and even everything out. But there are the loops, and then all you have to do is crease it right here in the middle, and we have a hair bow. Just like that. Pretty simple. Alright, well, let's do that one more time. Alright, so there's the bottom. Undo where you have two. Kind of looks like, like handcuffs or something. Alright. I'm going to try using my left hand so you guys can see. Alright, so you're going to go down and then twist up where you have loops. Take this one up and in the center. See, it's in the center. 
press it down like that, and then you're going to twist it in the opposite direction, which is down, and then it will form loops, but sometimes you'll have to kind of adjust everything and make sure it's even. And there you go. Easy as pie. So I'm just going to crease it right here in the center. And then I'm going to tie it off with some of this here thread. Okay, so here is the pink bow. I'm still waiting on the white and gold one to dry. But I did go ahead and attach this one to a clip. And I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. And I usually don't do a knot center, but I decided to do one today. But there it is. And a lot of you wanted to see the backs of the hair bows on the clips. Here it is. Don't pay attention to the white. I did not have any pink. Um, and for those of you that know me, know that I like the long, big French barrettes. And I'll show you. This is what it looks like on the back. I think it's really important to have a nice, pretty back to match the front. You just want to make sure that everything is, you know, heat sealed and all the glue is like taken away. Sometimes hot glue sticks around. Just run your lighter back there. But that is what it looks like, um, yeah, on a brat. So I've got that one done and I also did another pink one. This is using a 7 8 inch ribbon. It's a hot pink. Um, I'm going to put it on a clip. Of course it's not attached. So what do you guys think of this method? Are you going to try it? Go check out the videos. Um, yeah, it's very easy. And the thing I like about this one is you don't have to worry about the tail. You don't have to clip any tails because they're not showing and it's, it's really simple. So there you go. Try it out. Let me know in the comments below if you do. And I'll see you guys in the next video.